my neighbors are doing yard work every time I try to shoot a video. Somebody's doing yard work outside. Can we all just make an agreement to do yard work on Sundays? I didn't fix it. Still misfiring on cylinder number three. We're actually gonna take it to a shop to see what the problem is. I have no idea where this shop is at, and since I'm in Oklahoma and I don't know my way around, I got the GPS fired up. So let's go try this place out and see what they say. See, hopefully they can give me some good news as far as just drop my phone. As far as uh and what's going on with this thing, whether it's the cylinder head or the uh, engine block. Anyway, we'll see you there. I'm, I'm confused. The check engine light's not on, which is weird. But uh, I still think it's misfiring. Oh well, we'll find out. You know that whole process that internal combustion engines do the suck squeeze bang blow mm -hmm. and cylinder three no longer squeezes okay gotcha so therefore as a direct result it no longer does that bang portion very good either okay so, gotcha i pulled the spark plug out put in the new insert put in the new plug still had my misfire swapped coils around okay still got the misfire cylinder number three okay what else we got pull out my compression tester check that out 60 pounds. Yeah, when I when I pulled the spark plug out, the electrode was also missing too. So I thought, oh yeah, cool, quick fix. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking maybe that electrode got sandwiched in between the valve and the seat. Mm -hmm. I'm not 100%, so don't hold me to it. Okay, gotcha. You do not accept any credit cards or debit cards. We do not, no sir. That's a problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat. Well, that's all right. We can still do it. You can just come back out. I'm kind of far from a bank. I was I gonna call back. before I came up here too. I was well, like, I ah, no, nah, everybody takes cards these days. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so uh, sit rep. The beat down test has been done and it's leaking like crazy out of the intake valve on cylinder number three, which means the cylinder head's gonna have to come off. So good news, bad news is good news it doesn't need an engine entirely. Bad news is, well, the cylinder head's gotta come off. So, it's gonna be a fun little video series of taking this thing apart and putting it back together. We'll do little by little, start doing things here and there. And uh, can't wait to share that with you guys. It's gonna be so much fun. The part I'm not looking forward to is what it's gonna cost. Hopefully the cylinder head can be rebuilt and save me quite a few hundred dollars there. And then we'll get this pig back up and running and we can start focusing on other things such as, you know, getting the paintwork addressed and, you know, doing some stuff with the suspension and the steering. And, yeah, it'll be great. So there's a lot that needs to get done to get this cylinder head off. And that being intake's got to come off, alternator's got to come off. All these pulleys on the front have got to come off because the timing cover's got to come off. Valve cover's got to come off. Got to undo the fuel lines. Got to undo the exhaust. I'm going to do this out of the way. Get the radiator out of the way so that way I can do the timing cover nice and easily. There's, and you know, this air conditioning box, it all stays in place. I can't move that, you know? There's a lot to this. It's going to be interesting to watch. And I'm probably going to say a few choice words while I do it. But it's gonna be fun. And if that cylinder head is good and can be rebuilt, I'm gonna have them put in time certs while it's outside of the truck because it's easier there than it is inside of the truck. Gonna be a fun, daunting task. Fun kind of keyword there. And there's a part of me that I just really wanna tear into it right now, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to get all the parts together and get all the stuff that I need because this is a rental house that I'm in and I wanna lay some stuff down so that way it doesn't make too much of a mess on the concrete. Even though the concrete itself isn't really all that great. It's gonna be fun. And I look forward to filming it and look forward to having a lot of fun with that and yeah, get this thing running again. Yeah, back in the Ranger, uh, 
One thing I like about Oklahoma is everybody out here is so friendly. This place is a cash only operation and I didn't know that until I got here. So they were nice enough to let me sneak out and, without paying. And uh, so I just had to go to the ATM real quick, drove the Ranger back up here. And yeah, these guys are real great. I'll probably come back and have them do a couple of oil changes. It's gonna be a daunting task on that excursion. I'm kinda looking forward to it, I'm kinda not. But we'll get to it, we'll get to it. Just putting a parts list together here of things that I'm gonna need and without knowing whether or not the cylinder head is fixable, um, without the cost of machining that or without the cost of having a new cylinder head, uh, I mean, head gasket kit, head bolts, intake set, timing chain kit, valve cover gaskets, just and fluids and all of that. I don't like $800 in parts. You expensive pig. And that doesn't even include the cost of having the head machine. <sighs> but I love it. I really do. On a plus note, got stickers. You want one? Hit us up on Facebook. We'll let you know what it's going to take to get your hands on one. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Looking forward to ripping into that thing. We'll catch you next time.